Hey everybody, this is my Throne and Liberty setup guide if you want to play the game on the South Korea servers before the worldwide release. Um, so there's a bunch of info floating around online that I think make this process more complicated than it needs to be. It's not that hard. Just go to ncpurple.com, uh, click download, install the ncpurple windows installer. This is going to be our launcher for the game, the client. Don't need to do this from anywhere fancy. Download that, install it. When you open it, it's going to prompt you to sign in like this. Um, just click the sign up button here. That'll take you to this sign up page. You do want to make this account as if you're in South Korea. So Korea Republic of, enter your date of birth, year, month, day format, click next. It'll prompt you for an email. Again, you can use a regular Gmail account, your normal account, it doesn't matter. Um, but then once you do that, you're gonna come back over here, sign into the launcher. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can come here, go to the store. I think this is the default page. Uh, just scroll down, click Throne and Liberty. Uh, it'll show up, it'll, it'll take you to this page, click here, and just click install. Install it wherever you'd like. You needn't be um, running a VPN or anything for this step. And once you're here, just let the game install, do its thing. Um, once you do that, you will need to have a, a South Korean NCSoft account. Um, so if you don't have one already, I'll put a link in the video description of kind of some ways you could go about Getting signed up or finding one online, I'll send a link to a Reddit thread, uh, or I'll put a link in the description to a Reddit thread where people have been discussing that. Um, then once you do that, you should be good. You can just let that download, let the download finish, uh, and as soon as you have the info you need to get into that account, just come up here, manage your account, um, or switch your account in the in the launcher right here, in this drop down. Um, sign out, sign into the new account you just acquired. Um, and that should really be all you need to do game side, but there is one other cleanup step that you want to do before you log in to ensure your account doesn't get banned. You may have seen some info about the ban waves that occurred that were, you know, hitting people. Um, so to do that, you want to come back uh, here to id.plaync.com um, and sign into the your South Korean account and then come down here to contacts and set your recovery phone number to your personal phone number. That's really the big step here. Um, so when you're looking for an account, make sure the account that you're using ha can have the recovery phone number set. Um, if you're looking at listings or anything, usually that'll be a discrete line item. People will be saying that a, this account can have its recovery phone number set. Um, so ensure your account can do that. Change that phone number before you actually launch the game here. Um, and then once you do that, you should basically be all set. There is one other step. We want to set our date and time settings. This is the last setting. So set this to Seoul um, from wherever you are. It'll just change your Windows time zone. Nothing fancy, but people have been reporting issues if they've been trying to launch the game without that set. Um, then you should be good. You don't need a VPN for anything I've explained up until this point, but now to actually run the game, you will need a VPN. So you can find any VPN, really any service, should be about the same. Um, I've been having really good luck with exit lag. Um, exit lag is cool because it only will run the game that you want to be running through the VPN network, so it won't like send all of your traffic on your computer through the VPN, your browsers and all that stuff. Um, you only have to worry about the game. Exit lag super easy to set up. I'll put a link in the description as well. Um, I'm not affiliated or anything, but it's uh, it's just what been what I it's what I've been using because it's so it's so slick. I've used other VPNs in the past. They might not have quite the best ping, but the 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 ease and convenience is there. Um, so yeah, exit lag. Go to exitlag.com. Download it. Uh, I think it's exitlag.com. Download it or Google exitlag. Download it, and uh, then just select Throne and Liberty, and it'll like figure out all the servers for you. I haven't changed anything after the defaults, and it's all worked fine. So um, once you do that, it should detect Throne and Liberty here, and then when you start the game, it'll just route your traffic through that in exitlag, and you should be good to go. Um, when you click start game here, I can kind of I can show you what that will look like. Um, if you have any problems, I've been there. You go. You can see it. Bubbling up here, that's how you know it's working and routing the traffic through the server. Um, if you're having any problems, I have been playing on stream, uh, or feel free to ask questions in the comments below, um, or yeah, hop into the stream and I'll, I'll, I can help guide you through it live. Uh, thanks for watching, and good luck.